a dale. We had a lovely foggy morning this morning, but I forgot to film as I had to uh, head off to Old Kings. But I'm back home now and uh, just going to have my luncheon. And I thought, even though it's not completely foggy, I thought this was a sort of a pretty type of fog I haven't shared before. It's when the fog is lifted and the tide is out. So you still can see the stones across the harbor, but the bare trees of the neighbor's house, because obviously it's spring, so they, they're deciduous trees, they look exceptionally beautiful, stark against the, uh, the haze of the distant shoreline. And the sea is so still on a day like this, but yet out to sea it's still foggy enough that I can hear a large, there's a big boat out there, but it's hidden by the fog. And I hope you can hear the fog horns and the bell on the boys and the birds are out and Algernon and his wife are enjoying their luncheon now as much as I'm going to go and enjoy mine. But I just wanted you to see where you get that lovely soft blur in the distance where it looks as if there's nothing beyond, just an empty blank world waiting to be made. But then the trees across the harbor are a bit more stylized and apparent. And then with the stillness of the low tide with no wind, you can see the reflections of the gulls as they fly over. And look at the reflection of Algernon and his wife on the flat rock. I may have to sketch that later. And of course the crows. They've been so saucy ever since the uh, the eclipse. But can you hear the sounds of the boat out in the sea? I can hear its rumbling and then its little horn, but you can't see it because it's far too foggy out there. But yet it seems like some magical sound because it doesn't look like there's anything beyond the break wall, just a white blank sheet. I hope you enjoyed that little moment. Another pretty picture that I'm lucky to see. Half fog, still harbor, low tide, gulls and seabird, and the hedgerows are alive with birds as well. You can tell spring has come to Bunny Hall. And what a difference a day makes. I'm in my studio and I can't even open the door to film. So sorry about the reflection, but can you hear? Obviously you can see the wind is, it's a southern wind, so it's just pouring and beating against the house. But I just wanted to show the vast difference and why I never get bored of just being at home all the time. <laughs> because the view is ever changing. And one day you can have the soft, calm day, almost pond-like, with fog, followed by heavy rain and wind and big waves. And I love when they crash like this against the rocks. And I know down there on the shore, with the high tide and the heavy winds like this, that there'll be lovely treasures to find for beachcombing later on. There's just something magical about a single place still in time, having such vast differences of view from moment to moment. <laughs> and the spitting rock was spitting at me. Well, thank you for enjoying me for this short little vlog. And until my next vlog, remember, stay creative. Cheers! Mm -hmm.